Did you know this dude was a girl? I sure didn't. Diana can jump on top of her and pursue her if she burrows as well as delete her, especially if she's going full AD. Fizz, because his E will prevent Rek Sai's engaging attempts and will delete her right after. And Lee Sin is also pretty good because of his extreme mobility and also his kick whenever Rek Sai tries to come into the middle of a fight and knock someone up. Aatrox can bully her pre-6 and also run away if he needs to. Zack, who can once again take her away from the middle of a fight if he needs to. And Poppy, who can prevent her from burrowing into the team fight, are other viable counters too. Rek Sai's passive makes her gain fury stacks when whenever she deals damage to enemies and will consume the fury to heal her when burrowing over a short period of time. Her kit changes a bit depending on whether she's burrowed or not and this can be activated by her W. When burrowed, she'll lose a lot of vision but also gain movement speed and it'll detect nearby moving enemies. Her Q is an auto reset that makes her next 3 autos deal extra damage and also to surrounding enemies and when burrowed, it will shoot a pulse that deals damage as well as reveals enemies. Her E makes her bite the target and will deal double damage as well as turn to true damage if the fury bar is full and will create a tunnel if she's using it while burrowed. The tunnel will stay put and she'll be able to go through it again if it has not been destroyed by enemies that stand on top of them. Finally, her ultimate will mark an enemy and allow her to burrow for one and a half seconds before jumping out again and leaping at the enemy and deal damage if it hits the target, as this damage can very easily be avoided if you time a flash or any other movement ability at the right moment. I'll show you. As for spells, you'll most likely find her in the jungle, so she'll be taking smite and so will you if you're the enemy jungler. In terms of power spikes, she doesn't really have a strong early game, but becomes more useful in the mid to late game because of her natural tankiness and also utility in teamfights. That does not mean that you shouldn't expect a gank at level 3 in the top or mid lane, since a simple knockup with a red can be enough to bring you down quickly. The warrior enchantment is enough of a power spike to make you cry if she comes to your lane, but titanic hydra will fill up her fury bar very quickly, making her eel deal true damage almost all the time. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, whenever she tunnels, she'll travel a fixed distance, and she'll try to use it to get near you and knock you up, so wait before using dashes until after she's come out of her tunnel. Try to dodge her ult damage, and don't go into long fights with her because of her fury.